Bisbee, the insight you need, I'm Juju. The deadline for the U.S. to pay its bills is approaching. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has repeatedly warned that without an increase to the debt ceiling, the U.S. could run out of cash to pay its bills. On Friday last week, she said the deadline was now June the 5th. Since 1960, the U.S. debt ceiling has been raised 78 times. The negotiation seems extremely difficult this time, as the two parties are unyielding in their positions. The President, Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, Maya McKinney's, complained that Washington always waits until the last moment, until the action forcing crisis to budget to get things done. The debt crisis has become a political weapon with far-reaching impacts on the global economy. First up, as the world's reserve currency, any default of U.S. Treasury bonds would disrupt the global market, according to an analysis by the White House Council of Economic Advisors. A protracted default on the U.S. payment obligations could result in the loss of 8.3 million jobs and a 6.1% reduction in economic output. Even a more modest, short default scenario that is quickly resolved could lead to a loss of 500,000 jobs and a 0.6% reduction in real GDP. Secondly, as the risk of holding U.S. debt rises, if the U.S. dollar is downgraded, the interest payments may be higher. This will affect the borrowing costs of businesses and households. Rising interest rates will also lower the value of outstanding bonds held by banks as capital reserves, making it more difficult to pay deposits for the increasing uncertainty in the banking industry. Moreover, every time the U.S. reaches the debt ceiling, it triggers fluctuations in the global financial markets, such as a large sell-off of U.S. bonds, damage to creditor interests, depreciation of the U.S. dollar, stock market crashes, etc. For emerging economies, this will further worsen their debt burden, making it even more difficult to finance from the global capital market. As it were, the global economic recovery still has a long way to go. And the U.S. debt crisis will inevitably slow down this process. As the largest economy in the world, it should shoulder more responsibility for boosting the recovery rather than aggravating market turbulence.